Hey, hey, check out my painter's pants. We get it done. Quality. Check out my station. Hey, I just want to show y'all my workstation. Who I got in here with me today. I just had a few people in here with me on the critical dialogue. Uh, so let me see. Hold on. Oh, I got a headache, a serious headache. Um, let me get a couple people in here and then I'll start. I got two people. We got four. Talk to me. Let me know you who you are. Show some love on your way in. Smash that like button and that subscribe button. Stay a while. See we thanks. OBI wanna be. Hey, hey. Thank you for coming in. Sam D. Thank you, Sam. If you didn't hit that notification bell, you will stay updated. I actually got another update here soon. Um, I just wanted to show y'all my equipment though. J4x4M, thank you for tapping in. Okay, I just wanted to show y'all my, um, my equipment that I just got. Um, we got a, we got a lot of new plans on the floor. Uh, we got some new strategies and stuff. Taya Cambo, hey hey, oh, thank you for tapping in. So let me show you all my equipment. The most important piece. Hey, J4x4M, that's what I like to see, man. Hey, shut up and shut up talking and show us. All right. So um this is this is how you want to have your setup, right? I got some other stuff. I left it at my mom's, but uh I just wanted to show y'all my new printer. Okay. Um, this, this was, no, this one I paid, um, how much did I pay for this? A hundred dollars. And this is a HP PhotoSmart 7525. Joe, thank you for tapping in. Nova Guy, thank you for coming back. <laughs> um, HP PhotoSmart 7525 is uh, able to fax, scan, copy, um, colors. Um, it can do photos, all types of nice stuff. So who want to send me a fax? Just comment if you want to send me a fax real quick. It can be a scrap piece of paper, uh, anything really. Um, and then this one down here, is a identical printer, and that's also a HP Photo Smart Seven Five Two Five. Nothing wrong with it. Um, that one was donated to me, and I didn't have a power cord. So in the midst of looking for a power cord, um, I came across this, which of course came with a power cord. So I just bought it. And if anything happens to this, I'll be able to just take the parts from the other printer. Um, you know how I am, self-made. So if something happens to it, I'll try to fix it myself first and take, take the parts off of the printer down there and use them for this printer. I got the phone over here set up for fax so I can send and receive fax. I've done so a few times already. Um, I got a pack of pens. You want to keep some nice pens in your workstation. Okay, got the grip handles, Sharpie, nice pens. Um, I got this, which is a three part camera lens. 
three in one lens. And you could just put it on your phone so I could like zoom in a lot further. You know, so that's that's pretty nice. And this stuff here I got from five below. So just to put y'all up on that knowledge. And put this right on my phone and get some and we're gonna see how that works out as far as the quality and the distance and uh the final product. And then I just bought this selfie stick with a built-in microphone and um, professional video quality, enhanced audio and sound, built-in shutter button, wand extends 12 to 39 inches, connects using 3.5 millimeter audio jack, works with all smartphones. So that's another nice piece. Um... And then I got this neck mount. I had one of these before, so that way I can be hands-free. I lost it, so I got another one. But um, you just connect your phone to this, put that around your neck, and then you can go hands-free. And I've been thinking about going hands-free um, going forward. So I'm just working some equipment in here and there. And then ultimately, uh, for the most part, I'll be hands-free when I'm out recording and that's just the style that I want to move towards I just I don't know I don't always like the phone in my hand when I'm when I'm going up and I'm engaging people I, I just don't want my phone all the way up like this all the time you know so um I feel like that one to be cool and then I got the clip that came with my phone so I can also record from the hip and nobody will know I'm recording right so if, if something goes south, I'll already be recording and the phone won't be in my hand. So somebody might end up in a shithole. All right. They won't even know that the video is going. And I'll have this on my neck. And um, I got some stuff in here I want to read off to y'all, too. Um, I got some papers and stuff in here. Oh, most important piece, orange juice. <laughs> okay. That's the most important piece. And this thing you can print straight from your phone. Um, you can go online, I believe, too, and download stuff. Let me see. Um, let's try to scan something real quick. Who got facts? Anybody on here got facts? And these are some complaints. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm getting ready to work on a whole lot of stuff, y'all. Like I said, man, it's not just about recording the police. We want to go all the way. We want to make sure um, people are held accountable. So... Um, it's, it's, it's definitely a long way to go. So here's the forms you can download from online, attorney's grievance commissions. And if you are aware of a corrupt attorney, a corrupt prosecutor, corrupt judge, whatever the case may be, uh, you do want to contact the appropriate authorities. Um, I got some forms for our attorney general's office, consumer complaint forms. Um, let me see, because I actually had all this stuff mixed, mixed up. Um, and then this is the federal lawsuit. paperwork here um
Let me see. I for, well, I didn't forget which one I wanted to to show y'all, but I just wanted to read off one. That's in regards to misconduct by the prosecutors. And I believe this is it here. Yep, and this is from this is directly from the Michigan Bar Association. Okay. And there it is. Rule 3.8 Special Responsibilities of a Prosecutor. Okay. So, and it says, The prosecutor in a criminal case shall A. Refrain from prosecuting a charge that the prosecutor knows is not supported by probable cause. Super important. Okay, and again, this is from the Michigan Bar Association. B, make reasonable efforts to assure that the accused has been advised of the right to and the procedure for obtaining counsel and has been given reasonable opportunity to obtain counsel. Okay, and this is critical, and, I, and I've downloaded uh, these different forms and stuff of all different rules so that people understand and that they know what to look for and um, when they go into these court dates. Because, well, I mean, I know when you hear the word prosecutor, you, all, you automatically think, hey, nothing is good here, right? They should be doing the right thing if they know that you are innocent. So, again, let me start back from the top. The prosecutor in a criminal case shall A. Refrain from prosecuting a charge that the prosecutor knows is not supported by probable cause. B. Make reasonable efforts to assure that the accused has been advised of the right to and the procedure for obtaining counsel and has been given reasonable opportunity to obtain counsel. C. Not seek to obtain an unprecedented accused, a waiver, unrepresented, obtained from an unrepresented accused, a waiver of important pretrial rights, such as the right to a preliminary hearing. D. Make timely disclosure to the defense of all evidence or information known to the prosecutor that tends to negate the guilt of the accused or mitigates the offense and in connection with sentencing, disclose to the defense and to the tribunal all unprivileged mitigating information known to the prosecutor except when the prosecutor is relieved of his responsibilities by the protective order of the tribunal. E. Not subpoena a lawyer in a grand jury or other criminal proceeding to present evidence about a past or present client unless the prosecutor reasonably reasonably believes, one, the information sought is not protected from disclosure by an applicable privilege, two, the evidence sought is essential to the successful completion of an ongoing investigation or prosecution, and three, there is no feasible alternative to obtain the information. F, except for statements that are necessary to inform the public of the nature and extent of the prosecution, prosecutor's action, and that serve a legitimate law enforcement purpose, refrain from making extrajudicial comments, judicial, extrajudicial comments that have substantial likelihood of heightening the public condemnation of the accused and exercise reasonable care to prevent investigators, law enforcement personnel, employees, or other persons assisting or associating with the prosecutor in a criminal case from making a extrajudicial statement that the prosecutor would be prohibited from making under Rule 3.6 of this rule. G. 
when a prosecutor knows of new, credible, and material evidence creating a reasonable likelihood that a convicted defendant did not commit an offense of which the defendant was convicted, the prosecutor shall, one, promptly disclose that evidence to an appropriate court or authority, and two, if the conviction was obtained in the prosecutor's jurisdiction, I promptly disclose that evidence to the defendant unless the court authorizes delay and I undertake further investigation or make reasonable efforts to cause an investigation to determine whether the defendant was convicted of an offense that the defendant did not commit. H, when a prosecutor knows of a clear and convincing evidence establishing that a defendant in the prosecutor's jurisdiction was convicted of an offense that the defendant did not commit, the prosecutor shall seek remedy, seek to remedy that conviction. Okay, and that's amongst a thousand other things, man. And this is, uh, this is real, like, study work right here, okay? City of Warren. Okay. And then, um, and then we got this case here. This is my federal court case. So, y'all can look this up. <clears throat> It is a public record. And this is against the city of Roseville for violating my rights early 2019. There's the case number. Right there. And um, that's how you take action. Cinnamon and Dusty. Two cops who laughed and laughed and laughed and laughed. They thought everything was funny. And now look. No more laughing. No more laughing. All right, and that's how we're going to do it. So... Just wanted to show y'all my equipment. All right. So, thank y'all for tapping in. Let me go through these comments a little bit before I cut out of here. Let me see. Let me see who we got in here today. Oh yeah, that's true. They do make their own rules. That's how I, that's how I got in this position. They made up their own rules. They made up their own laws. They made up their own orders. And one thing led to another, which is all illegal. And uh, this is the position that we're in now. So all you can do is move forward. But uh, make sure y'all stay tuned. We're gonna get out this weekend. I don't see eyes in here. I don't see my man in frames. Everybody must be laid down for the night and relaxing. So I'm going to do the same. But y'all stay tuned. We're going to get out and get some work done this weekend. It's Uncovering America. Live and uncut. Y'all have a good night. Stay hydrated. Wash your hands. Wash your ass and um, always record. All right. Over and out. Thank y'all. Stay safe. Stay strong. Stay committed. And let's get it. All right. 
I'm thinking about uh, I don't know what I want to eat, but I'm gonna figure something out. All right. <laughs> Y'all have a good night, man. One love, my brothers. One love.